Hello everybody, this is Bobby at Propel to UDP Air with a brief video today uh, talking about the uh, power supply board DA 4G25F01021. Uh, it's used in a 40 inch Philips, possibly Funai and Emerson to do, I don't know, all the models that it's being used on. Uh, it's hard to find boards and uh, there is a repair kit for it on eBay or at least two. One was from Shop Jimmy, another was from somebody else and it has a bunch of components on it and uh, this video is for those who have tried those repair kits and they didn't help them. Um, I have a beef with companies selling repair kits blindly. Uh, it's very easy. Truth be told, chances are it those repair kits there may may help. When that fuse is blown here, and the TV is totally dead, of course, because that's the main AC fuse. When that transistor is shorted, uh, of course, then that fuse will be blown because that's the main driver uh, for the the only transformer on the board. Then, then you will need a repair kit that of course consists of that fuse and that transistor and whatever else there might be and they throw off those diodes which rarely ever fail and those diodes here which at least I have. I have seen an older Philips models a uh, case where they did fly but a lot of companies are making repair kits where they have seen something fail in previous generation of a board. A voltage regulator or whatever and then you just make a repair kit for a next generation of a board assuming that the same thing fails uh, and it never does because design is different and width points are different so anyhow uh, the problem with uh, this TV that was given to brought to us by a customer was that it was uh, it was dead it had no front light it was not responding I mean not LED light at the front it wasn't responding to any commands uh, but the power supply board did not have that fuse blown, that transistor wasn't shorted, everything on the board seemed normal. Uh, and this is the key point, when measuring the output voltages, we were able to get to ground, uh, the first few pins here, it's, it's documented somewhere on the power supply, we were able to get 12 volts, it was actually 1180 something, and uh, 9 volts or whatever the other voltage was out there. So, applying the kits that were sold online would not have helped. I'm not going to teach you what to do exactly. I would just tell you that uh, what is missing out on this board is the 3.3 volts going to the main processor and giving it uh, the ability to perform you know, the normal standby procedure. And uh, the solution to that is uh, implemented in here. It's a hack on top of the board, it's it's not a repair thing. This video, we, we do provide, we will be offering a repair service for the board, maybe we'll be offering boards for exchange. I see there, there's one board right now on eBay for like $120, I don't know if anybody will pay that. But um, the symptom will be a totally dead TV, power coming to the power board with the two main voltages that normally come here, but TV is still totally, it looks a lot like a, like a bad main board and that's what we originally thought and in all fairness it actually might be if we would be able to find where on that main board uh, those 3.3 standby voltage are being produced uh, at least we weren't able to we ran through schematics uh, eventually we just hacked it the way it is shown there uh, with, a, with a different approach so if uh, if if you have a, a one of those Philips is bad and you have one of those power supplies, don't rush buying a repair kit for it. First test whether the fuse is blown, whether the transistor is shorted, and uh, whether you have voltages coming up here. If you do, you don't need those repair kits. That's my opinion. Uh, good luck with your repairs. Sorry I could not show you more, but frankly, folks, it's becoming increasingly difficult to be in this business. Uh, we you know we have to earn money somehow so at least we're telling you what to watch out for and not to waste your money for um, I'm not saying you know you, you never need those other repair kits and uh, I'm saying just look carefully because before you spend money
Thanks and uh, happy repairing.